what is the sum of the solutions to the given equation? So we have this equation here, and we need to find values of x that satisfy this equation, which really means we need to find values of x that when we plug in, both sides of the equation will stay equal. So we can s solve this by first moving everything to one side. And before we do that, we need to expand out this parentheses here by distributing the x. So x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. And then minus 56, which equals. So 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times negative 7 is negative 28x. So to move everything from the left side to the right side, we can subtract negative x squared, subtract x, and add 56 to both sides, which will cancel out these terms here and move them to the right. So on the left side, we'll be left with 0. And then on the right side, we'll have 4x squared minus x squared, which is 3 x squared, negative 28x minus x, which is negative 29x, and then we'll have a positive 56 on this side. Okay, so now we need to factor or factor this quadratic, but this doesn't seem to be factorable by grouping, so we should use the quadratic formula instead. So the quadratic formula goes like this. So, okay, let me write the formula up here. x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. And these constants here, a, b, and c, come from a quadratic equation of the form 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, a is 3, b is negative 29, and c is 56. OK, so let's plug, it, plug these values of a, b, and c, a, b, and c, into the quadratic formula. So negative b, so negative, negative 29 is just 29, plus minus square root b squared. So if we get out our calculator, so 29 squared is equal to 29 times 29 is equal to 841. And then we have to subtract 4 times AC. So that will be negative 4 times 3 times 56. And that will be all over 2a. So a is 3, so 2 times 3 is 6. OK, so we can simplify this down by solving this multiplication here. So 29 plus minus square root 841 minus, let's get our calculator back out. So 4 times 3 times 56 is 672, so 672 all over 6. Okay, so now we can just plug this into our calculators and we should get two values of x because there's a plus minus here. So our first value of x will be 7 and the other value of x will be 2.666 or 2.667 if you browned. So these are the two values of x we'll get when we plug this expression into our calculator. One with a positive sign here and then one other one with a negative sign here. And the question here asks us for the sum of the solutions. So we have two solutions here and we just need to add these two together. So when we add 7 with 2.667 we'll just get 9.667. So the sum of the two solutions to this equation is 9.667.